come to Sankhines, it's a restaurant that's been open for over a hundred years and is open 24-7 selling churros. I've gotten six and a hot chocolate, cost me four euro. Let's see if they are any good. I want to try and play some Pokemon Go while I'm in Europe, but I don't have any internet. I need to find Wi-Fi. Turns out the buses have Wi-Fi and they move around the city. So I'm going to travel on these buses around for a little while and hopefully catch myself a Mr. Mime. So I'm just about to go check out this, the Estación Chamberi Cedo, which is an abandoned metro station in Madrid. It was abandoned back in the 1960s, mainly because it was too small um, when the metro trains were expanded from four to six cars. Yes, that was quite interesting, a lot about the history of the metro in general, but also specifically about this station, why it was abandoned and why it's called a ghost station. Now, if you're interested in ghost stations and ghost railways, I've actually done a, um, a vlog on my regular channel and I'll include a link to that at the end of this video, so do check that out if you are interested in learning more. I'm told this is one of the best places to watch the sunset in Madrid if there was a sun to see. So instead, oh no, you can't even see it. There's a bit of a view of the Royal Palace and the cathedral right behind me, but you can't even see that. It's very cloudy and it's raining at the moment, so I'm gonna get out of here. So I'm inside the courtyard of the Royal Palace. It's the same place where I saw the changing of the guard the other day. You can tell that the king is not in the Royal Palace because just there behind me is the Spanish flag, but not the king's flag. If the king were here, we would not be allowed inside the palace. I'm going in for a guided tour. They don't let you take many photos inside. So this is probably gonna be all that you get. So I'm at what they call Spanish platforms. You've got platforms on either end and then an island platform in the middle to serve the two tracks coming through. I've only ever seen this before in the Olympic Park station in Sydney. I assume they're called Spanish platforms because they originate here in Spain where I am in Madrid. I am leaving Madrid the same way I came in, through Atocha Station. It's got this magnificent entrance with all of these large trees inside uh, this large sort of cavernous entrance. I've only been on this side of it, so I'm going to head over to the other side and have a look at some of the trains before boarding my bus to take me to the airport.
despite being just a train station, Atocha has a real feel of an airport, just the, the size and scale, the, the shops, the commercial presence, all of the people, the international travellers, what looks like customs and immigration control. Definitely never seen that at a train station, but then again, it's impossible to have that in Australia because we're an island country. Uh, here's all the trains at Atocha station. The high roof uh, high ceiling reminds me a bit of Southern Cross Station in Melbourne. We definitely don't see these high-speed trains anywhere in Australia. Not yet, anyway. A trip to Spain wouldn't be complete without having a chupa chup. Now, little known fact, chupa chups are actually from a company in Spain. The only thing they make are chupa chups and the name chupa chup itself is Spanish. Chupa chupa meaning suck suck and that's a great suggestion I'm gonna do that right now <laughs> this this one's actually cherry flavored I thought it was strawberry mm. better than I thought Mm-hmm.